Hip hop. Dude! Today's video is all about footballs and liquid nitrogen and what happens if you put a football in liquid nitrogen. I got this idea because the Super Bowl is literally in two days. It's 2022. I don't know when you're watching this video. It might be 2024 for all we know. But we have to see what happens when we take these footballs and we put them in liquid nitrogen. Are they going to change texture? Are the gases going to completely compress the air inside? Or are they going to completely shatter once they're in liquid nitrogen? And at the end of this video, we'll have the ultimate test where a kicker from the University of Utah is going to kick a liquid nitrogen football. What makes these footballs so special is they're actually made out of cowhide and every Wilson game ball that the NFL uses is made out of Ohio and Ada. And these balls are put through the limit and put to the test, honestly. They have special standards and today we're going to get into those and see what these footballs are really all about. Now the footballs you get in stores, they all kind of vary. You can get ones that are made out of a synthetic material, you can get ones that are college balls and you know that they're college balls because they have these white stripes on them, or you can get your good old fashioned pool football. It all depends on what you want. But the NFL plays with these specific footballs to make sure that the quality is great for every single game. So when you see the football on the field for the NFL Super Bowl game, it'll be this football right here. Well, this. Not exact one, but like it's cousin. <laughs> to understand what's happening when we put these footballs into liquid nitrogen, we first have to get inside and see what's in here. So we're gonna go ahead and cut this open with an exacto knife following the seams. I'm trying to be careful not to go too deep because there is a bladder inside here, which we're going to talk about. And it's actually critical to the footballs. I'm so scared it's gonna explode on me. There's so much tension on this stitch right here. Goodness gracious, that was so scary. I'm like sweating right now, this is so stressful. Okay, we're in control now, I feel better. I'm just like trying my best not to puncture the bladder because that's what we're trying to see here, is the bladder. Perfect, okay. So this is something we need to look at. So I cut it open on the bottom of the football. The football is made of four pieces that are all sewn together meticulously. Where the laces are inside this football, they place a piece of vinyl so that it strengthens the football even further where the laces are. So this piece is on here to protect the bladder so that when the football players are gripping it tight, they can throw it and have not just pressing it like straight down on the bladder. So this bladder fits inside this football. It's kind of crazy. So if you've ever been curious about the bladder of a football, this is it. It's not just one piece of material all blown up. Uh, actually, it's made out of four different materials. So the football itself is made out of a cotton and vinyl layer that is used to strengthen the cowhide so it's not just one solid piece. There's actually four layers to a football. So you have the outer cowhide, then you have a vinyl and cotton layer that are sewn together into the football, and then you have the bladder of the football that is made out of a plastic. And if you're curious about the shape of a football and how it got its shape, they actually used to use the bladder of a pig. So this is the bladder of a pig in the old days. Now it is made out of a plastic instead. But yeah, seriously, look it up. It literally used to be made out of pig bladder and they would just put a hide around the outside of it. So before we test our NFL footballs, we're gonna first test out one of these different guys first. So let's go ahead and put this squishy guy in there and see what happens. Now remember, liquid nitrogen is a cryogenic liquid and cryogenic liquids are liquefied gases that have normal boiling points below negative 130 degrees Fahrenheit. But liquid nitrogen, it has a boiling point of negative 320 degrees Fahrenheit or 196 degrees Celsius. This guy froze so fast. This feels good to me. All right, drop test. Left hand is frozen. Right hand is still squishy. One, two, three. I wonder what happens if I spike it. One, two, three. Well, it's still bouncy, but it's really hard. It has a little bit of damage. So something we found that was interesting is the bounce really didn't change between the two frozen materials and the one that's not. Um, but texture-wise, they are very, very different. This one is squishy and this one is very, very firm. So let's go ahead and take this guy and hit him with a hammer and see if we can shatter it. One, two, three. 
That was wild. Let's do it again. One, two, three. It literally split. So the outside of it is like super hard, but the inside is still that like squishy material. So I think if it would have like froze all the way through, all the way through, it definitely would have shattered when it hit the ground. This one is all rubber filled with air. So we're gonna see what happens to this one. It feels nice and squishy right now, has a good squish to it. Let's see what happens. I don't know if there's a significant size difference, but this one feels a little bit more bloated looking maybe. Left hand liquid nitrogen, right hand not liquid nitrogen. Let's give them a go. Three, two, one. What a tarnation! Listen to it! <laughs> the sound was deafening. I was just expecting like a little like boom. Okay, drop test number two is gonna be definitely more of a throw because this is awesome. Okay, ready? Three, two, one. <laughs> I don't even know what to make of this. I feel like I need to hit it with a hammer with some eye protection on though. Three, two, one. I dented it severely. Okay, let's hit it again. <laughs> it keeps denting, but it won't break. Oh, look, it peeled away so we can see the inside of it. So not only is it rubber on the outside, but it has a fiber lining on the inside. The end of it has really taken some damage. That's what happens when you put a rubber football in liquid nitrogen. Now let's use some organic material like the cowhides and see what happens to these NFL footballs. I think this one looks smaller. I could be wrong. I'm looking at it up top. What do you think? Maybe, yeah. Maybe a little bit? I don't know. This one is smoking coming out of the laces though. Drop test. Three, two, one. Bye bye. Much less bounce, like much less. You can see where the liquid nitrogen has it saturated along like the lace line and where the stitching is and everything. One, two, three. Doesn't look like it did any damage. Looks fine. One more test. The hammer. Three, two, one. Oh. They sound like plastic. <laughs> okay, since we have the blood of the football, I just want to see what happens if we put it in liquid nitrogen. Oh, it popped. So the bladder, as soon as we started pouring liquid nitrogen on it, popped there. Remember how this was like a plasticky material before? It was in there for a couple seconds and it's already like crunchy. So because the bladder exploded as soon as we put the liquid nitrogen on it, we had the extra liquid nitrogen, so I just want to see if we can get the football to a really, really cool temperature and then break it. Because I know it's possible. I know we can break this. Three, two, one. No! Definitely should have started with this hammer. We have a dented football now. So we have one more football to test in liquid nitrogen, but instead of a drop test, we want to give it a little bit of a different test. I tried testing it in the backyard last night. I kicked it. My athletic ability in kicking a football don't really line up, so we're headed to the University of Utah where Jaden, the kicker, is going to give this an actual kicking test. This is Jaden, the kicker for the University of Utah. Um, he had a whopping 50-yard kick against Oregon, and it was a beaut. He Thank is, you. You're welcome. Thanks. He is going to give this football a kick, but it's going to be soaked in liquid nitrogen. But before we do that, we need to understand the fundamentals of kicking a football. So what advice do you have? Uh, there's a lot that goes into it, but to keep it simple, you have to match your foot on the ball in a very small area so you get the optimal trajectory and distance that you need. And you don't have that much time. It literally happens fast. Yep, it takes about, from the ball being snapped until it's off your foot, is about 1.2 seconds. And that's why he's here, because <laughs> this could not be me. <laughs>
This football has nothing on it, just a regular football, and Jaden is gonna give it a kick as our control. Take it away. Choo! It's so good, it's so pretty, it flies so beautifully. And just to prove how hard it is to kick a football, I'm gonna kick a football. <laughs> okay, so this is like terrifying, staring at this football. Do you have any tips for where I'm supposed to hit it? Yeah, so you wanna go usually two shoelaces down from the top, right on that bone is where you okay. wanna contact the football. You wanna to try to follow through. I know it's, it's like easy. a golf swing. Exactly, it's easier said than done, okay. but that is the very simple form of what you need to do. That's it, and like half a second. Yeah. <laughs> <To like. laughs> yeah. <laughs> cool, cool. <laughs> this is great. <laughs> you did it. I think I missed the football. <laughs> okay, so I obviously have no future as a kicker. <laughs> it's great. fine, thanks. We'll leave it to you. So I'm gonna go ahead and soak these in liquid nitrogen. He's gonna continue warming up and getting yep. ready. And we're gonna give these a good kick. All right, it's time. It's a frozen football. Tilt it a little more forward. Give it a go. I think so. It popped. How'd it feel? Did it hurt? It felt like kicking a cold ball like really? at the end of the season. Yeah, it definitely popped. Dude! He dented the crap out of it! <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy! Dude, you dented it hardcore. You gonna do it again? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, this time we're gonna pour a ton of liquid nitrogen on it, freeze it really hardcore all the way through because we really want that shatter. Yep, let's do it. Three, two, one! How'd that feel? Uh, it was like the same. I can't touch it because it's freezing. You could probably kick it again because it's so cold. Yeah, we can kick it again. Let's do it. <laughs> All you got, homie. That sounded good. That was such a bang. I love that it's just like this smoking football. <laughs> yeah, that's about what it feels like kicking in the cold. The inside of it is completely shattered. Give it a slam, see what happens. <laughs> the bladder's yeah, the completely is dead. That's crazy. Well, today we learned that you can shatter the bladder of a football, but the cow hide on the outside is pretty strong and durable. Yep, it won't break. It won't break. And not to mention, he cranked this thing and literally hit it with like 300 pounds of force. Yep. Literally crazy. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us today and letting us use your foot. We Thank really you appreciate for it. Me. Guys, if you want to find Jaden, where can they find you? Jaden underscore Redding. Yay! On Instagram. He's number 97 on the field, but number one in our hearts today. <laughs> Thank you guys.